Welcome to Engineer Campus, the place where I help you to make your ideas into a product. And today we will talk about combined solutions, getting the best for your product. Combining solutions is done by combining part solutions that we have done in the previous step. We uh, were finding multiple solutions for all functions that we found out in the function analysis. And we are ending up with a basket of solutions because we have multiple solutions to each function. We have a multiple of um, solutions and we are now um, need to get in creative and we will need to find combinations of those because we have all these um, bricks and now we have to build them together. This is done in three steps. Number one, building the table of combinations. Number two, finding combinations. And number three, sketching out the design. The table of combinations is built like shown here. We have the functions and the solutions. And the solutions are all on the same row as the function that they solve. So we have, for example, just getting straight ahead to something here. An example, if we have the function heating, then we have on the right of it the solutions, how this heating function can be solved. This can, for example, be done by a heating wire. We can have a radiation source for heating or we can have a fire, for example. So there's different approaches to solve this problem, this technical problem. And in the other um, functions, we have also then other solutions. So we end up with a lot of solutions here for example, I also showed that for light, we have only light bulb and LED. And of course, there are a lot of other solutions, but I wanted to show that you don't have to have an equal amount of solutions for each function, but you should have at least two. What you will then do to find combined solutions is you will go from the top to bottom and pick one solution for each function. For example, here we take the heating wire and combine it with manual. And then we will go further down and use the LED. And this we will do a few times. For example, here with a second combined solution, we will use fire, electric pump, and a light bulb. And we will do this as often that we get a few good combinations because it's easy to do. It won't take you a lot of time. And it's good to have a comparison of your preferred solution. When you combine the solutions, you have to do this with a requirement list in mind. Do the part solutions conflict with a requirement list? Check if the combined solutions would have trouble meeting the requirement list. And if you don't feel it's good enough, then you do another combination. And here's also with the other steps, if you feel that the previous step was insufficient, then you go back to that step and try to fix that error. But it's important here to combine the combinations, the solutions already in mind, that the solutions don't cancel each other out or have other problems with the requirement list. Otherwise, you will get problems later. So when you have your solutions, your combined solutions, then you start to sketch it out. Uh, you make a quick design drawing for each combined solution that you can imagine what it would look like, how it would work together. You make a pro-contra list with focus on the requirement list, of course, and you write on what else favors the design. So to make it ready for comparison, it's easier to do it when you have something that you can actually compare and those criteria you can take out of the requirement list because it's your end goal and it's important to focus on that. But the comparison itself will come in the next step, and I hope I see you then. Thank you.